Hey guys, it's Emily Jean. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the first time you guys are kind of flipped around and seeing the other side of my vanity. Normally I film in front of this, so you're seeing behind, but now you're seeing kind of what my vanity does look like. You guys can tell by the title, today I'm doing a q and A. I've been waiting to do this video for a while now. I'm always constantly getting questions in my DMs on Instagram, um, but normally I respond super fast right away to you guys, but I thought it'd be a little more fun to kind of bring those questions over to my YouTube channel and kind of be able to sit down and talk about them a little bit more. So I have a bunch of screenshots on my phone and I thought it'd be fun to do a little Q&A Something a little more personal stepping away from the makeup vanity. So that's what we're doing today I'm just gonna answer them to the best of my abilities. Okay, so the first question is what main products would you recommend like one eyeshadow palette one foundation, etc.? So, I guess for the everyday person, my favorite neutral palette is probably the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, the I one. Um, for foundation, I love the new Tarte Shape Tape. You guys probably already know that by now. All the L'Oreal Longwear Foundation, so the Pro Glow, the Pro Matte. Those are great drugstore foundations. Um, you guys know Cody Airspun is probably like my hands down favorite makeup product ever. It's a translucent powder. You can find it at Walmart or on Amazon. I have a bunch of must-have products. I don't know. That's a really hard question to answer, but those are some of the top three that I think you guys can incorporate into your everyday makeup routine. Next question. How was your high school experience? I love this question. Um, I did just graduate high school about a year almost a year ago. So yes, I'm pretty fresh out of high school. Um, I went to a very, very different high school. It was a public school, but it was a pretty small public school. Um, there were kids from all different cities around like surrounding five cities. And I went to school with a bunch of different ethnicities, races, everything. And I am so grateful for that because I've definitely learned so much more just from the people I was surrounded by other than just stuff we did in the classroom. Um, so I feel like my high school experience was amazing. Of course I had the boyfriend drama, I had the friend drama, you're gonna get that no matter what. Um, but if I had any advice, I know this isn't really what she asked, but if I had any advice I would just say try and be yourself as much as possible. I started my YouTube channel in high school and that was definitely a challenge for me, but I feel like if you're confident enough to just be yourself, but still be just super sweet and friendly to everyone around you, you'll get a lot further in life. Overall, high school was a great time. I'm happy I'm done with it, but while I was there, I did enjoy it. Next question, what made you choose to do a YouTube channel and why a beauty channel out of all types? So the reason I started my YouTube channel and the reason I started in the beauty community is because I started watching YouTube probably early middle school, maybe even elementary school since the day I had any type of device to even look up YouTube, I guess. So probably 11 years old. Um, I started wearing makeup in seventh grade and I remember going to like the matte counter and getting all this crazy makeup in seventh grade. And I would watch beauty video after beauty video. Those were more when like the old school just tutorials were on YouTube and I completely self-taught myself makeup from beginning to end about all this crazy stuff and I am now technically a makeup artist. I do freelance work. I've worked for a photography studio and that was all self-taught on YouTube. So I really wanted to take everything I've learned and kind of start my own channel and be able to share everything I've learned and YouTube has just been such a big part of my life that I wanted to be able to do it myself and I love creating, I love cameras, I love makeup, I love everything involved in YouTube, so that is why I'm here today. <laughs> and then she also asked, what are five things that you absolutely love right now? I wonder, does that mean makeup? Should I do random things? Five random things I love right now? I don't know what that means. I guess I'm gonna do five makeup products that I love right now. Um, let's actually grab them because all my makeup is right here. Five. Okay, so I just grabbed five products that I'm obsessed with right now. Um, these are definitely products that I use almost every single day. The first is this Maybelline Master Glow Highlighter. This highlighter is amazing. You guys have to check it out. Um, next is the Glossier Boy Brow. I love this stuff. If you love like the hairy looking brows, you definitely need this. Um, of course, Tarte Shape Tape, 
only concealer I use. Literally, I don't like my makeup unless I use this concealer. Um, for lip gloss, I love the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. This is in the shade Sugar Sugar. I love super nude lips and that really glossy look so this definitely gives me that and lastly this is actually an old favorite but i recently fell in love with it again this is the l'oreal voluminous carbon black mascara this is just a great everyday mascara i haven't been wearing falsies as much so i've definitely been using this every day on my top lashes next question what motivates you to work out? So, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a workout routine, which I want to film for you guys, but I need to have someone film it for me. Um, so I'm figuring that video out, but it will be coming soon. I think my biggest motivation is just how I feel mentally and internally when I work out. Um, I don't work out as much so like for like, oh, I want a nice body. Of course, that's amazing. I find myself when I'm working out on a weekly basis, I am mentally more happy i am more motivated in general to do homework or youtube or anything else in my life um, i'm not as tired i don't sleep in as often so i feel like working out i know that feeling i get when i work out i just am so like upbeat and happy all the time that that's why i keep going back to it and then of course like the little things um i follow a lot of fitness bloggers and i watch their stuff and i'm like oh, i want to do that too I think you just feel like a sense of confidence and just like pride when you do get to go and work out. Um, it seems so silly, but I know so many people want to work out and they just don't do it because of a mental state. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I guess just knowing the feeling I get when I am active and constantly working out on a weekly basis is what motivates me. Does that answer your question? I don't know. Some of these questions are hard to answer, like on the spot without me just rambling. Next question. Um, what's a good cheap curling iron? I have one brand that I love for um, hair products. I've probably had them literally since middle school. They're my favorite ones. Um, I don't have my curling iron on me. Yeah, I don't have my curling iron on me, but I have my straightener and it's the same brand. What is this called? Argan Heat. So it's the Argan Heat brand. This stuff is super good for your hair because I don't know if this is true, but it says like something in the metal that's on it is supposed to not damage your hair as much. I got mine from Sally's and they have worked great for years. I've literally had them, like I said, probably since seventh grade. I'll link them down below. I believe they're both maybe under $50, something like that, but I've been using them forever. They work great. They hold a curl. They heat up fast. I have never had a complaint about this brand. Okay, next question. If makeup was not a thing, what else would you do on your YouTube channel? Um, I think the obvious answer to that would be more fashion-based videos, which I really want to do on my channel, but they're so hard to film as an independent filmer because I do everything on my own. Um, so I definitely need to find someone to constantly be helping me with fashion videos. So hopefully that will be coming soon. Um, I've had a few people request to help me with that. So definitely fashion-based. I love fashion. You guys can check out my Instagram for more kind of fashion posts. Um, if not that, um... Probably like fitness and food because I feel like that's really interesting and it would help me personally. I don't do it as much as I would like, but if there was no such thing as makeup and fashion, I would definitely be in the food and fitness industry. Also just vlogging, like vlogging in general, just daily vlogs. I think they're super fun, um, but it can get a little boring. I love the makeup side of stuff because you can get really creative. Next question, what's your favorite video that you filmed and who is your biggest fashion inspiration? Okay, those are two questions. So what is my favorite video that I've filmed? Probably one of my favorite videos I filmed is one of my fashion videos, one of the only ones on my channel. It's the Take Me Back one um, and my ex-boyfriend, <laughs> that's nothing bad, we're still friends, he filmed it for me with my drone and it was just so fun to film and put outfits together and kind of like edit the footage. I just loved how it really came out together. Um, and then I also loved my recent video, the wig video. That was just super fun and kind of different for me. It was fun trying on the wig and then trying to make a makeup look out of it. I think a lot of you guys enjoyed that too. Something a little bit different. Um, but I definitely love fashion videos. They're just so hard to film because you definitely need a second person to kind of help you 
you out with the filming side of things. And the second question she asked is, who is your biggest fashion inspiration? So I have two, and they kind of go hand in hand. Um, my hands down biggest inspiration of like everything of life is Audrey Hepburn. Um, I feel like my classic style comes from her, the very feminine, like a ballerina look. Uh, my style's definitely changed over the years. I feel like I'm a little more edgy now, but definitely her she's like just amazing and oh there's like a picture of her right over there that I'm looking at but she's definitely one of my favorites and then I always say Olivia Culpo if you guys don't know her you guys have to follow her she was Miss Universe in 2015 I believe huge fashion icon now I love calling her the modern day Audrey Hepburn she reminds me so much of Audrey Hepburn but like definitely she adds in the modern trends all the kind of edgy more streetwear looks. Um, she just kills everything in the fashion game. So she's a huge fashion inspiration. Okay, next question. What are your favorite places in Detroit? Okay, this is a great question. If you guys live in the Detroit area, um, number one, the 10 nail bar. I get my nails done there. These are like gel tips and it's kind of similar to like acrylics, but a little bit more healthy for you. They do everything there. Such a beautiful, beautiful experience. They give you a drink. It's really nice and pretty in there. It smells beautiful. Everyone is so sweet. So I love the 10 nail bar. What else? I love Campus Marshes. That's obvious. Just the little park, you know, with the big Christmas tree ice skating rink. It's fun to hang out around there, especially when you're younger and stuff. Um, because I am obviously not 21. I don't go out super big to the big restaurants or bars or anything. So I do more of just like kind of hanging out outside. Um, I love Bird B. That's a little fashion boutique. It's actually right by the Nail 10. I keep saying the nail 10 bar the 10 nail bar bird bee is like very bohemian super super cute stuff and actually right next to that i love that little area it's called capitol park that's like probably one of my favorite little areas um right next to bird bee it's la latina i think that's how you say it it's an italian restaurant so good it's like in between casual and fancy but their food is just fantastic so that's definitely one of my favorites those are my top three. Next question, how did you get started modeling for companies? Um, this is a great question because honestly, I have no idea how this all happened. Um, just a little tiny YouTube background. I started my website and blog first and from there I moved to YouTube and YouTube has been my biggest platform since probably for almost over a year. And then from that, I started shooting with local photographers just to get some better content on my Instagram page. And then from there, people just started reaching out to me to do more modeling for videos or promotions because I had that influencer base, but I also had kind of the modeling background just with very basic photographers. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess just sharing my portfolio, very small portfolio, I started shooting with one of my friends and he did a lot of photos for me so they looked professional and I was always posting those um, so I feel like that kind of shows your um, comfort in front of a camera and what you would provide for the company and then of course because I had my YouTube channel as well it kind of added the influencer part into my modeling too so yeah I wouldn't consider myself a model because um, it's just not what I am really doing I do a lot of modeling work but I don't know I can't like sense myself to call myself a model because I never really meant to get into that business but it has happened and I'm really enjoying it and yeah okay so the next question was I was wondering how you started making videos were you scared of what other people would think I don't know I've been thinking of making a channel but I'm too scared of what people would think um so I get asked this question all the time and especially I feel like my audience is a little bit younger I don't know if that's fully true, but I feel like you guys are. <laughs> you guys comment down below how old you are. I'd love to know. Um, but anyways, I started just because I loved makeup. That's all there was to it. I didn't really double think anything about what people would think or who was going to be watching it. I simply just made makeup tutorials, very basic ones. You guys can still see them. They're on there. It was only about a year ago. Um, I honestly don't remember. I feel like if you're confident enough and you're really passionate about something, you're not going to let those people get to you. And like I said, I started it while I was in high school, so I was posting these videos and going to high school at the same time. Um, and I really don't remember people saying anything bad. I'm sure people did behind my back. I'm sure stuff went around. It's pretty easy to poke fun at. But at the same time, I think you just have to be confident enough and be yourself, be authentic. 
don't let them get to you. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. If they're hating on you, just don't let them get to you. Um, if you really love doing it, you're going to keep going. And that's all that matters. If you're happy, it's all that matters. Next question. This says, have you gotten paid to do YouTube so far? Yes, you get paid on YouTube no matter what. As long as you're monetizing your videos, you are getting paid. Um, I'm not going to share too much financial stuff with you guys, but yes, you are paid on YouTube as long as your videos are monetized. And then, have you gotten any type of product sent to you so far while being on YouTube? Yes, brands have sent me products. Um, I don't get them like crazy. I don't get any crazy PR packages, but I have had some products sent to me. I've had clothes sent to me. I've had brands contact me for um, doing videos for them. I've done a few. You guys have probably seen them on my channel. You know when I'm sponsored or working with a brand. Um, I do a lot more brand work on my Instagram and it's always very clear as day when I am working along with a brand and getting paid, whatever that is. Um, but yes, I have gotten sent stuff. Like I said, nothing crazy, but yes. Um, what is your favorite foundation at the moment? At the moment, I love the Tarte Shape Tape. I like the hydrating one a little bit more, and I also love the NARS Radiant All Day Wear Foundation. Yeah, those two. What type of makeup tools do you suggest for foundation, bronzer, concealer? Definitely for foundation and concealer, I love a beauty sponge of any type. My favorite is the Real Techniques. I feel like it's pretty personal, but I do love the Real Techniques. It's not crazy expensive, and I think it works great. I use that for my foundation and concealer. Um, for bronzer, I love using like a bigger powder brush, or I love using something a little bit smaller and fluffy. I'll link some of my favorites down below for you guys. Um, but yeah. And then the last question is more just like a yes or no. Can you do a random huge clothing haul? Yes, hopefully soon. Oh gosh, I just dropped my phone. Hopefully soon because spring is coming around. So I'm sure I'm going to be doing a little too much shopping since spring is almost here. Oh, just got another one. What's your favorite store to shop at, aka where do you get all your cute clothes from? Um, I have a bunch of stores. I feel like they're very pretty basic stores. This top is from Forever 21. I love Forever 21 for like kind of inexpensive, cute, trendy stuff. I love Aritzia for some more basics that I really want some high quality pieces. I love Zara for more of my European kind of editorial higher fashion looks. What else do I shop at? I love Topshop and Nordstrom. I usually buy all my shoes at Nordstrom just because they have a wide variety of different shoes. Um, Urban Outfitters. Love Urban Outfitters. That is just kind of an obvious answer. Um, some online boutiques as well. I'll link some of them down below. White Fox Boutique from Australia. Beginning Boutique from Australia. All those Australian boutiques are awesome. Sorry, I'm going through some of them. I didn't screenshot, so I'm going through some of the recent ones. Um, this says, I have a question. How do you get such a beautiful, slim, body, flat stomach? Do you work out? XX, love you. Um, love you too. <laughs> so, I guess for my workout routine, about probably like the start of 2018, you know, the New Year's resolution, I was going to the gym every single day at night and just consistent. I was consistent with my workouts. Honestly, I haven't gone in two weeks. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I have not gone in two weeks. I really need to get back and go. But consistently working out and just eating good, eating healthy, and not only healthy because I love food. I'm such a foodie. Like There's never a moment in my life where I'm going to be eating perfectly healthy because I love going out to eat. I love trying food, but I think it's really, really good for you if you are staying on kind of a routine so make sure you're eating breakfast around the same time eat lunch around the same time eat dinner around the same time give your body that time to digest correctly um i'm not saying i do this because i'm not like perfect i definitely <laughs> my diet is really messed up to be honest but like i said consistently working out um i'm gonna be doing a video soon so you guys can see some of my favorite workouts i do have one on my channel and i do those workouts still to this day so i'll link that video down below it's ab and booty workouts if you guys want to watch that i'll link it down below but yeah just staying consistent keep going to the gym keep yourself motivated 
Okay, I think this is the last question. This says, do you please have a link to which lighting you use and which camera? And I responded to her that I was going to be making this video. So I currently use the Canon 80D to film my main channel videos, which I'm filming on right now. Um, I will put it on the screen and I will link it down below for you guys. And far as lighting, it's always a little bit different on what I'm filming. When I'm filming at my vanity, obviously I have my vanity lights that help a lot. And then I'm filming with a basic ring light right now that I get from Amazon. It's not crazy expensive, very, very worth it. And I put my ring light up there as well. So for all my makeup videos, it's a ring light and my vanity lights. And then when I'm filming with a background, I usually have my ring light directed on my face and then I have two softbox lights kind of lighting up the background. Um, so I'll link all those down below. I get everything. All my equipment from Amazon so I'll link my camera my tripod my ring light my softbox lights yeah and, but I feel like if you're just getting started a basic ring light is really all you need that's all I'm using right now and it is nighttime so this video might be a little bit darker but of course you don't need anything perfect for starting off I still don't have perfect lighting in my videos I think that is all the questions if I didn't answer your question I am so sorry it's hard to keep track of all of them and I think I forgot to screenshot some I hope I answered your questions well the best of my ability that was actually quite hard but if you guys want me to do more Q&A's I'd love to you guys can leave some questions down below and I will start tracking them for my next Q&A. Um, and also, if you guys want to vote for me on Best of Our Detroit, I will link everything down below that you need to know for that. Um, you can just scroll down to the Detroit Ambassador section and just type Emily Jean Beauty, send it on its way, and you are all voted in. So, so if you guys would like to be sweet enough to do that, that would be amazing. And also, I want to update you guys on my filming schedule. If you follow my Instagram, I stated that I'm going to be posting every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Um, during the month of March and forward. But I realized that posting once a week is definitely not enough. I cannot stay away from YouTube for a whole week. So I want to post twice a week. So I'm doing Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So come back every Tuesday and Friday for a new video. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Stay here.